Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankaj Rai, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a scrollable list using Jetpack Compose. So, unlike Android traditional APIs where you have recycler view, here we do not have a recycler view, rather, we have something else, and today we'll see that. So I don't want this surface and creating so let me do one thing let me leave surface as it is but let's delete all these things so now what do I want is like I want a list which will have a images and I want it to be scrollable so let's see how I can do it so first thing first is like because these images are in the tribals like you can see it here so let me add a array of this images one say I'm saying get car images and I could have like an array of all the images car one so let me have it for car two car three four five and six okay so that's sufficient now let me add few more images and this time let me add it for bus again array of dot uh, travel dot bus one two three four and five so now I have an array of car images and uh, array of bus images now let's see how do I can add this to the scrollable list so let's create a composable function and the reason why compose is not added here is that it's just a function which is returning an array of drivers so there's no such code to render anything and that's why this function name starts with small case and no composable written here now let me add a composable uh, let me give this name as show scrolling list and let me do one thing let me append both of this images uh, the area of images well items I could say like uh, mutable list of get car images and get bus images now one strange thing which you might be seeing here is this asterisk symbol so this asterisk symbol is a feature which is offered by Kotlin which means that extract the element of this array so at runtime what it will do is like instead of adding this as an array all alone it will extract this elements and it place this elements here so in short it is equivalent to write as if I have created a single mutable list which is having this item plus this item Okay, now I have an items which I want to show on screen. Now let's let me create this lazy column. Here I just need to pass items and that's it. So no more complex adapters, setting adapters, callback listeners, nothing as such. This alone is sufficient. Where you specify the items which you want to draw on screen and let me show it on screen so before that let me add an image because I want to show the list of images and image resources uh -huh. now how do I get the image resource I have passed here this items to this items parameters now I need to get these items individually so because this is lambda so what I can do is like I can call something like it and this it is going to give me the individual items so you can think as if this is a for loop which is running 
and individually it's going to give you the one one items so this will get rendered on screen as many times as the items which you have in the list and let's add a modifier also for this so I want this to be full screen so I can say like fill max width uh, but before that I want to restrict the height of it so preferred height is say I want to 40 dp so what do this mean is that I want an image which is having a height of 4, 240 dp and the match constraint is defined for the width so it's like width has match parent and height has 240 dp and let's have a content scale also now content scale crop means that while scaling to the match parent for the width if you need to crop certain elements while adjusting the height of the image then do it so by this way you'll see that image is occupying the full width and height and that's it so by this way you have created your scrollable list same thing in android would have required another file lengthy code but now under five lines you get the scrollable content let's see it on screen okay this has to be in capital letter let me add it here show scrolling list now let's run this okay so here it is now just with this five lines of code we have this layout so this is certainly going to reduce the app development time now how about if I want to add say a title or certain things after every fifth element then instead of using lazy column 4 I could use lazy column for indexed it will give me index and the item now what I could do is like say that uh, at every item position like index is at the fifth position I want to show some text this text is something like title at now just to show this index position I am writing this as index this now let's see what happens so by this way what I am doing is like I am adding some sort of headers now here the logic is like after every fifth element just do it but this can be based on your situation you can do like you are showing section recycler view in same way you can have it here also like on the top you could see title at zero then later on here it is title at 5 so by this way you can make a, like a section scrolling list just like a section recycler view but you need to write more logic there but here it's really very straightforward but why about just text how about adding another scrollable list so you might have seen like many of the applications is having two kinds of scrollable content one horizontally one vertically and they are all aligned together so it could be like the scrollable list you have and the first element or the second element may have another scrollable content which will scroll horizontally so horizontal scrolling list inside the vertical scrolling list now let's see how do we can add this using jetpack compose now let's create a horizontal scrolling list so for that I'm going to use say after fifth element or say the fourth element show me the scrollable list which is horizontal so lazy row for get seen images and same thing here the like image assets where you're going to give images and modifier 
preferred height remains same to 40 dB. And here instead of fill max width, I'm going to say fill parent max width. So by this way, it's going to accommodate with the width of the screen, not aligned with the width of the image. And I'll show you the difference between both of them, like using fill parent max width and fill max width. And now content scale, content scale to crop. Okay, now let's run and check this out. So here it is. Now as I scroll it down, you can see after the fourth element, you'll find this horizontal scroll list. Here it is. And now you can see this difference. We have fill parent max width. So it is accommodating this parent. That means this screen width as match constraint. But how about if I make this like same fill max width. Now here it's going to create an issue. And this is common if you are using the horizontal scroll view. Let me show you this. So earlier the width was aligned with the width of screen. But now you could see the difference. This image is just going on. So you can see this difference between fill max width and fill parent max width. That's it in this video. I hope this might be useful for you to understand about the scrollable list in Jetpack Compose. So no more complicated stuff here, no adapters. You just have a lazy column for or lazy column for indexed and just feed in the elements which you want to draw on screen and do your activity. So it's really a shorthand notation you could say to add a scrollable list on the screen, not just this. Scrollable can have another scrollable list, which is really great. And you can even have a sectioned scrollable list. So all these things with just few lines of code. So that's it in this video. But if you have liked this video, then hit the like button, share it with your friends, and do subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.